Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee's Advanced Levels Mathematics A Level So Hot. We continue the iteration. The iteration is a numerical method to find the roots of an equation. From now on, I will record my video in English and in Cantonese version. And if you want to listen to the Cantonese version, you can go to the type here. And today, we continue the numerical methods, 10.2 iteration. So what is iteration? An iterative method can be used to find a values of x for which the fx is equal to zero. To perform an iterative procedure, it is usually necessary to manipulate the algebraic function first. To solve an equation of the form fx equal to zero, by an iterative method, we have to rearrange the fx equal to zero into the form of x equal to g of x and use the iterative formula xn plus 1 terms is equal to g xn term. What this means is some iteration will converge to a root. This can happen in two ways. One way is that successive iteration get closer and closer to the roots of the same direction. Graphically, this iteration creates a series of steps. The resulting diagram is sometimes referred to as staircase diagram. You can see this is a staircase diagram. So how can we iterate the roots of it? For example, if a function is equal to x squared minus x minus 1 can produce the iterative formula xn plus 1 is equal to square root xn plus 1. And how can we get this formula? If we put the x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0, we take this minus x minus 1 to the right hand side and take the square root, we got the x squared is equal to square root of x plus 1. So we substitute, so it's x equal to square root of x plus 1. And we got this function here. When fx is equal to 0, and we let x0, the first term of x is equal to 0.5. And we get this, if x equal to 0.5, x1 is equal to this here. And x2 is equal here, and x3. And successfully, it will change to uh, x to the n, where fxn is equal to 0. So we read up from x zeros on the vertical axis to the curve y equal to square root x plus 1. To find the x1, you can read across the lines x equal to y is across the line here, and we get the x1 here. We reading up, we get a function, and we reading up to here, we get this function, and also we successively get the root of xn where fxn is equal to 0. And the second way is that an iteration converse is this successive iteration alternatively being below the root and above the root. We can see from the graph here, x0 in here we got um, above the root, this above the root, and we got x1 is below the root, x2 is above the root, and x3 is below the root. And continuously, we will converge to the root here. So this iteration can still converge to the root, and the resulting graph is sometimes called the Cobweb's diagram. So we rewrite this equation. If f is equal to 0 to xn plus 1 is equal to 1 over xn minus 1. And we start the x0, the first term of x is from negative 2 here, and then positive, negative, positive, and negative, positive, until we got the xn where fx is equal to 0. Not all iterations or starting values converge to a root when an iteration moves away from the root, often increasingly quickly or decreasing quickly, you say that it is divergent. So if you've choose the fx 
which is divergence, and you never get the root because the root will be the x1 and x2, x3, x4 to the xn will diverge from the roots. You never get the root in this case. So if fx is equal to x squared minus x minus 1 can produce the iterative formula, this is the iterative formula, and you substitute x0 equal to 2, the successive iteration diverges from the root as shown in the diagram, and you never get the roots. So be careful of the divergence situation. Let me see an example. If fx equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1, we show that the equation fx equal to 0 can be written as x equal to 4 minus 1 over x. So we substitute here. We take 4x minus 1 to the right-hand side, and we divide by x both sides. We got x equal to 4 minus 1 over x. We got this equation here. And we find the roots. And if fx has a root between 3 and 4, we start from the x0 is equal to 3. So x1, we calculate 3.666. And we substitute 3.666 into this equation to get the x2. We got 3.72727, etc. And we substitute this into x2 here. We got x3. x3 is 3. 0.7317. You can see the root will converge to a values after a series of calculation x4, x5, and x6, etc. Example two, if we got x squared minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5, so we find the f of x equal to 0 has a root between 3 and 4. We have to prove this. So we substitute 3 into this equation. We got is minus 1 and 4 into this equation, we got is positive. So it's one negative, one positive. There may be a root between it. And this function is continuous, so there should be at least one root between it. And B, use the iterative formula xn plus 1 equal to square root xn script minus 2xn plus 5 divided by 3 to calculate x1, x2, and x3. And we start from x0 equal 1.5 and x0 equal to 4. So if we start from x0 equal 1.5, we will get a convergence result. And if you start from x0 equal 4, you will get a divergence result. I leave this for you to calculate, and you will know how to calculate. And after these two examples, we have the exercise number three and four. Got the answer here. You can check the answer after you have do the exercise. And uh, question number five and number six, I also get an answer in this page. You can stop the videos and write down the answer. And after you have finished the exercise, check your answer with this. So prepare your pen, papers, and calculator. We are going to do the exercise question three, four, five, and six. Question number three. If we have a function fx equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2, a show that fx equal 0 can be written as the form x equal to x squared plus 2 over 6, or x equal to square root 6x minus 2, or x equal to 6 minus 2 over x. The first part it says fx rewrites equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. So we take the x squared and the plus 2 to the right hand side and multiply by minus 1 because 6x equal to x squared plus 2. So x is equal to x squared plus 2 over 6. The second part x squared minus 6x plus 2 equals 0. x squared is equal to 6x minus 2. We take this into the right hand side. So we take the square root both sides. We have x equal to square root 6x minus 2. And the third part, x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. So x squared is equal to 6x minus 2. And we divide both sides by x. We got x equal to 6 minus 2 over x. Part B, start with x0 equal 4. Use its iterative 
formula to find a root of the equation fx equals 0, round it to 3 decimal space. For the first part, xn plus 1 equal to xn squared plus 2 over 6. If x0 is equal to 4, we substitute this 4 into here, we got x1, so we get x1 is equal to 3. And we substitute x1 equal to 3 into this equation again, and we got x2 is equal to 1.83333. x3 equal to 0 0.89351, and x4 equal to 0 0.46639. And we repeat the step until we got to, we have 0.35427 and x7 is 0.35446. We run it to three decimal space, we got is the solution is 0.354. For the second iterative formula, we got xn equal to square root 6xn minus 2. We substitute x0 equal to 4 into it. After we calculate x1 is equal to 4.69042 and x2 5.11298, x3 5.35517 and x4 5.48917, etc. And after a lot of calculation from x3, x4, x5 until x11, because 5.6438 and we continue because if we do up to the three decimal space these two answer is not equal as well so we continue x12 x13 14 15 16 and 17 we finally get 5.6456 and 5.6457 round to three decimal space we have the answer 5.6 Four, six here. And for the 3b, the third part, xn plus 1 equal to 6 minus 2 over xn, x0 equal to 4, we substitute in this equation, we got x1 equal to 5.5, x2 5.636, x3 5.645, x4 5.6457, and we calculate until x7. We got these two for the three decimal space is the same is 5.646. So after we calculate for this iterative formula, this iterative formulas and this iterative formula here, we can see that with different iterative formula, we can get to the convergence results, convergence solution with different numbers of parts. And for these three examples, we realize that if we calculate by hand, we got a lot of have to be done. So if you end up with this iterative method, you better write a simple computer program to calculate for use, or you can use the Excel to do this for you. Uh, I will show you how to do this with Excel to make these calculations more easy with different steps to converge to the solution. And question number three, Part C, use the quadratic formula to find the root to the equation fx equal to zero, leaving your answer in the form of a plus and minus square root b, where a and b are constant to be found. We have the function fx equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to zero, so x is equal to minus b plus and minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a is 1, the coefficient of x squared is 1, and b is minus 6, b is minus 6, and c is 2. We substitute into this equation to calculate the root. So we, after we calculate the root, we got the root is 3 plus and minus square root 7. So a is equal to 3, and b is equal to 7. If we calculate 3 plus and minus square root 7, we got x root is 5.64571. 31106 and uh, the other solution is 0.3542. So if you compare with the solution we get from the previous parts in here and uh, from the previous part in here, these two solutions is very precise. 
Question number four. If fx equal to x squared minus 5x minus 3, so that fx equal to 0 can be written in the form of x equal to square root 5x plus 3 or x equal to x squared minus 3 over 5. If we get the x squared minus 5x minus 3 equal to 0, x squared is equal to 5x plus 3. So take square root, x is equal to square root 5x plus 3. And in here, if we got x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0, minus 5x is equal to 3 minus x squared over by minus 5, so x is equal to 3 minus x squared over minus 5, so it's equal to x squared minus 3 over 5. The second box is less x, 0 equal to 5, show that each iterative formula gives the different roots of fx. If we put x 0 equal to 5 into this iterative formula, we got the x1, x2 is equal to 5 on something. And for x0 equal to 5 into this iterative formula, we got the solution here is minus 0.5 to something. So this two solution is different. This one and this one is different. Question number 5. fx is equal to x4 minus 3x3 minus 6. So that the fx equals 0 can be written in the form of x equal to grid roots px to the power 4 plus q. We have to find p and q x to the power 4 minus 3, x to the power 3 minus 6 equals 0. So minus 3, x to the power 3 is equal to 6 minus x to the power 4. And x to the power 3 is equal to 6 minus x to the power 4 over minus 3 is x to the power 4 minus 6 over 3. And we take the creep roots of both sides. We get x equal to the creep roots of one third x to the power four minus two equal to script root of p x to the power four plus q where p is one third and q is minus two here. And b part x zero equals zero use x equal to script roots one first x to the power four minus two we find x one x two and x three iterator. So x one we substitute zero into here we got is minus one point two five nine nine and we substitute this into here again and we calculate x two we got minus one point zero five zero seven five and substitute this result into here we got minus one point one six eight zero so we got x one x two and x three the first three iterative solution and part c by choosing a suitable intervals Prove that the alpha is equal to minus 1.132 to 3 decimal space. We substitute alpha equal to minus 1.1315. Into here, we got the fx is equal to negative. And if we substitute minus 1.1325, into here, we got a positive. That means this positive and negative in the intervals between here, we have a solution. So we take to the three decimal space, we got alpha equal to minus 11132 is a root to three decimal space between these two intervals here. Question number six, fx equal to four cotangent x minus eight x plus three. X is between zero and pi where x is in radians. A, we show that there is a root alpha of fx equals 0 in the interval 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. We substitute f 0 0.8 into this formula here, and we have 0 0.4848. These are positive values, and 0 0.9, we have got uh, negative values. So in between, there is a root within this interval. So therefore, there is a root alpha of fx equals 0 in the interval 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. And in part B, we show that the equation fx equal to zero can be written in the form of x equal to cosine x over two sine x plus three over eight. So we, if we have four cotangent x minus eight x plus three equal to zero, we got eight x equal to four cotangent x plus three. 
So x x equal to four cosine x over sine x plus three, and we divide by eight. But from both sides, we got cosine x over two sine x plus three over eight. And part C use the iterative formula x n equal to cosine x n x n plus one equal to cosine x n over two sine x n plus three over eight. And x0 equal to 0.85 to calculate values of the x1, x2, and x3. We substitute x0 equal to 0.85 into this equation here. We get the solution 0 0.8142. Substitute into here, we got x2 is equal to 0.847. And we substitute into here, we got x3 is equal to 0.8169. And part four, by considering the change of the size of fx in a suitable intervals, we prove that alpha equal to 0 0.831, correct to three decimal space. So we let alpha zero equal to 0 0.8305. Into this equation here, we got a positive value. If we substitute 0 0.8315 into here, we got a negative value. So in between, this is the positive values, this is the negative values, this is in between. We have a solution, and the solution is alpha is equal to 0 0.831 if we run up to three decimal pace. Now we are trying to use the Excel to calculation the iteration step of the question number three. So question number three, we have fx equal to x squared minus 6x plus 2. And one of the iterative formula is xn plus one term equal to xn square plus two over six and xn plus one equal to square root six xn minus two and xn plus one equal to six minus two over xn. In three case, we substitute x0 is equal to four. So x0 here we equal to four and the iterative solution we enter the formula x0 to the square plus 2 over 6, this formula here. So we got the number equal to 3. So x1 is equal to 3. So in here, we got the formula is equal to d15, this cell. So 3, we copy the 3 into here. And then we copy the formula down. So the formula down here is using the 3 to calculate x2. So this value is x2. And then we copy this two equation down into x22. We got x2, x3, x4 until x22. The 22nd terms of x we get is 0.3542486869. So these two values is convergence to a values. And the similar for this iterative function, we got x0 equal to 4 and x1 is equal to 6 type x0 minus 2 to the powers of 0.5, so it's square root. So we get the answer is 6 point something. We copy this into this j15, copy these values into these cells here. So x1 is equal to these cells. So the formula, we copy this down the formula. We get this formula here and we get the values of x2. Here. And now we copy these two cells down to the x22. We can see that up to here, we got the value is the same. Make it to three decimal space, it would be the same. So if you think this is not what you want, you want more precise forms, so you can also copy down to more fields. So you get this is a more precise form. Similar to the first iterative function, the first iterative function is xn plus 1 equal to 6 minus 2 over x. So it's, this one is x0. This one is calculated by the iterative formula, 6 minus 2 over x0. We got is 5.5. We copy this 5.5 down here, and we copy this formula down here. We got the second terms x2 is equal to this one. So we copy this function and formula down to the x22 terms. We guess from the x9 and x10, x11 is always the same to the seven decimal space or x decimal space. So we get it 
more quickly, more easy by the Excel formula function rather than you do it by hand. So good luck. So if you come up with some iterative, it take you a long time and you can use Excel to do it for you. It saves your time. 早晨,歡迎大家回來我Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Levels Mathematics A Level的數學 我們會繼續 Numerical Method Iteration 數值演進法 由現在開始我將會將錄音是錄成英文和廣東話版如果大家有興趣聽英文版的話大家可以去這個影片的最初 我們現在繼續第十課,Numerical Method,十點二節,Iteration,演進法 什麼是Iteration? An iterative method can be used to find a values of x which fx equal to zero. To perform an iterative procedure, it is usually necessary to manipulate the algebraic function first. 如果我們要有演進法,首先我們要將那個function是做一些numerical的動作先。例如, to solve an equation of form fx equal to zero, by an iterative method, we arrange the fx equal to zero into the function x equal to a function of x, and use the iterative formula xn plus 1 of the terms, gxn the terms. Some iteration will converge to a root. This can happen to two ways. One way is that successive iteration get closer and closer to the roots from the same direction. 有時候我們會得到convergent,convergent的意思就是我們會慢慢慢慢找回那個root x的n次,而剛剛好fxn是等於0,我們叫做convergent to the root. In one direction,由正的方面一直去到0,或者是負的方面一直去到0. Graphically, this iteration creates a series of steps. The resulting diagram is sometimes referred to as staircase diagram. 好像這個diagram,你見到是一個staircase的diagram。x0就會突出一個root,跟著就射過去這條x等於y的線,就會射回上來,就會去到x1,x2,x3,直至到xn是剛剛好,是個root的,就是個 y等於x,同埋呢個square root x加1,咁呢個y等於x同埋呢個square root x加1係equal嘅話呢,咁呢個function呢就會係等於0嘅。我哋會睇返f(x)等於x2-x加1啦,我哋rearrange個我哋會計
嘅 terms 係等於 x 嘅 n 嘅 term square 減比一嘅。我哋代 x 零等於二啦，我哋代入去計啦，佢就會慢慢啦，一路咁樣大佢出去㗎，令到個 f x 嘅 n 啦，範圍唔係等於零，一個好大嘅數值㗎。咁呢個我哋稱為大 version。如果你揾到一個 x 零係等於二，代入去呢個 iterative function 去計，你係計到。佢一路大 version 嘅話咧，你就一定要選擇個另外一個 x 零去開始啦。我哋睇睇個 example 先。如果 f x 等於 x square 減四 x 加一，我哋將佢寫成呢一個 iteration。我點樣寫？就將個 x square 減四 x 加一等於零 ，x square 等於四 x 減一，所以 x 就會等於四。減比一 over x， 我兩邊都除俾 x， 我又會得出呢個 iterative 嘅 formula。跟住我哋就代 x 零等於三 ，to find a value x 一、x 二同埋 x 三。咁 x 零等於三，即係呢個等於三。我哋計咗 x 一啦，係三點六六六六六。而我係將個三點六六六代入呢個 x 一去計個 x 二 ，x 二就係三點七二七二七。跟住將個 x 2代入呢個，計返個 x 3 x 3就係等於三點七三一七。你會慢慢見到咧，呢個數值啦，慢慢穩定落嚟嘅。咁呢個我哋稱為 conversion。跟住第二條嘅例子就係 f x 等於 x 嘅三次方減三 x square 減二 x 加五。我哋要證明 f x 係等於零，係由三至到四之間 f x 係等於零嘅。我哋代 f 3我哋計到係負一，我哋代 f 四，我哋計到係正數，一個負數，一個正數，即係中間 at least 係 one root 嘅。點解？因為呢個 function 本身係 continuous， 所以中間咧 at least one root、three root 或者係 five root 等等嘅。而第 B 呢一 part 就係我哋要計翻 x 嘅 n 加一，用翻呢個 iterative formula 去計翻佢出嚟，計翻 x 一、x 二同埋 x 三，咁 x 零啦。我哋嘗試用一點五去計，你試下用一點五啦，去計翻 x 一、x 二、x 三，睇下呢個係 conversion 或者 diversion。跟住用 x 零等於四啦，去計翻 x 一、x 二同埋 x 三，睇下個呢個係 diversion 或者 conversion。呢度我留翻俾大家去計，大家去計翻出嚟啦，應該 x 零等於一點五啦，就會係 conversion； 而 x 零等於四嘅話咧，就會係 diversion， 因為離開咗嗰個範圍，計唔到個答案嘅。完成咗呢兩個 example 之後啦，大家嘗試做嘅就係 exercise 三同埋四，三同埋四我都有個答案喺度俾大家睇嘅。跟住五同埋六，五同六啦，我亦都有個答案喺下低，因為答案比較長，所以我就喺呢一度啦寫咗個答案。你可以停低個 video 啦，去睇一睇個答案。當然你係做曬咗三四五六先，先至可以咁樣做啦。如果大家準備好嘅話，就攞紙筆同埋計數機一齊出嚟做功課啦。第三條 f x 係等於 x 嘅二次方減六 x 加二，我哋要證明 f x 等於零嘅時候係可以寫成呢三個 form：x 等於 x square 加二除比六 ，x 等於 square root 六 x 減二，同埋 x 等於六減比二除比 x。如果 f x 等於零 ，x square 減六 x 加二等於零，六 x 就等於 x square 加二。然之後除比六，所以 x 咧就會等於 x square 加二除比六。如果 x square 減六 x 加二等於零 ，x square 就等於六 x 減二，兩邊都 take square root，x 就等於 square root 六 x 減二。而 x square 減六 x 加二等於零 ，x square 就等於六 x 減二，而兩邊都除比 x， 咁所以 x 咧就等於六減比二除比 x。B part， 我哋開始 start with the x。Zero 等於四 ，using the iterative formula to find a root of the equation f x 等於零 ，round to three decimal space。首先我哋用呢一個先 ，x 嘅 n 加一 terms 等於 x 嘅 n terms square 加二除比六 ，x 零就等於四。我哋代 x 零等於四落呢一度，我哋會計到啦 ，x 一就等於三，將 x 一等於三代入去計翻 x 二 ，x 二就係一點八三三三。將一點八三三三代入去計翻 x 三 ，x 三就係等於零點八九三一五，如此類推，一路咁一路計落去，一直計到 x 八同埋 x 七。咁 x 七咧就係零點三五四四六 ，x 八就係零點三五四二七
啊 ，round to three decimal space 嘅話啦，兩個都係零點三五四。我哋用第二個 iterative formula x n 加一 terms 等於 square root 六 x n term 減二，代 x 零等於四落去，我哋計到 x 一係四點六九零四二 ，x 二就係五點一一二九八 ，x 三就係五點三五五一七五。啊、你會見到呢個 iterative formula 啦，一直計落去啦，計到係 x 十一啦，呢三個 decimal space 都未完全一樣嘅。咁再我一路咁樣再計落去 x 十二、十三、十四、十五、十六、十七，計咗出嚟啦。你見到呢兩個 round up to 三個 decimal space 啦，答答案咧就會係五點六四六嘅。所以唔同嘅 iterative formula 啦，你會發覺需要嘅時間可能會唔同嘅。咁第三個 iterative formula 就係 x 嘅 n 加一 terms 減等於六減比二除比 x 嘅 n terms，x 零等於四代入去 ，x 一就係五點五 ，x 二五點六三六三六三 ，x 三五點六四五一六一，如此類推，一路計到去 x 七，你會見到呢就係五點六四五七五一 ，x 六就係五點六四五七五一。咁兩個一樣啦 ，round to three decimal space 就係五點六四六嘅。第三條嘅 C part，use the quadratic formula to find the roots of the equation f(x) 等於零 ，leaving your answer in the form of a plus and minus square root b， where a and b are constant to be found。我哋會有個 formula x f(x) 等於 x square 減六 x 加二等於零，所以。x 啊係等於負 b 正負 square b square 減四 c 除比二，而 a 咧就會係一，因為呢個 coefficient 係一 ，b 係負六係負六，而 c 咧係二 ，c 係二，代入呢條 formula 落去，我哋就會計到啦，個 x 咧就係等於三正負開方根七，咁所以如果係 a 正負開方根 b 嘅話咧 ，a 就係三 ，b 就係七嘅。啊、如果你真係代翻落去，就用個計數機計翻出嚟啦。其中一個 root 咧就會係五點六四五七五一三一一零六，另外一個就係零點三五四。當大家 compare 翻 with 之前大家用 iterative formula 計嘅啦，就呢、是、一個咧就係五點三五四二七，即係呢一個嚟嘅。OK， 咁另外一個咧就係五點六四啦。五點六四六，亦即係呢個 root 嚟嘅，所以個 iterative formula 啦，係可以計到出嚟，不過需要嘥啲時間。如果你嗰個 formula 係能夠直接用呢一個方法去計嘅話咧，呢、這個方法係準確好多，而且係快好多嘅。第四條 f(x) 等於 x 二次方減五 x 減三 ，will show that f(x) 等於零啦 ，can be written in the form 啦 ，x 等於開方根五 x 加三，同埋 x 等於。x square 減三除比五，如果 x square 減五 x 減三等於零 ，x square 就等於五 x 加三，兩邊都 check square root 嘅話咧 ，x 就等於 square 五 x 加三 ，x square 減五 x 減三等於零，負五 x 等於三減 x square，x 就等於三減 x square 除比五，亦即係 x square 減三除比五嘅。第四條 A 二。Let x 零等於五 ，show that each iterative formula gives the different roots of f(x)。如果我哋用其中一個 iterative formula 呢一個嘅話啦 ，x 零等於五 ，x 一就係五點二九 ，x 二咧就係五點四七。跟住如果你用另外一個 iterative formula，x 零等於五 ，x 一就係四點四 ，x 二就係等於三點二七一二七二 ，x 三就係等於一點五四。一路落去去你去到 x 五啦，就係負零點幾。x 六啦，亦都係負零點五幾嘅，咁所以呢兩個啊出嚟嘅 solution 係 difference 嘅。第五條 f(x) 等於 x 四次方減三 x 嘅三次方減六 ，show that f(x) 等於零 ，written as the form x 等於開方根三 p x 四加比 q。咁當然啦，我哋要揾 p 同埋 q。x 四次方減三 x 三次方減六等於零。所以就負三 x 嘅三次方等於六減 x 嘅四次方 ，x 嘅三次方等於六減 x 嘅四次方除比負三，亦即係 x 嘅四次方減六除比三，兩邊都 take cube root， 我哋就會有 x 等於 cube root 三分一嘅 x 四次方減二，咁所以呢個 p 啦同埋 q 啦 ，p 就係三分一 ，q 就係負二。b part x 零等於零。
use 呢一個嘅 iterative formula 啦 ，to find x 一、x 二同埋 x 三，我哋將 x 零等於零代入呢個 iterative formula， 我哋計到 x 一啦就係等於負一點二五五九，將呢個負一點二五九擺落去計 x 二 ，x 二就係負一點零五零七五。將呢一個負一點零五零七五代去計個 x 三 ，x 三就係負一點六八零。咁慢慢咧係啊 convert to 一個數字嘅。C by choosing a suitable interval, prove that the alpha 等於負一點一三二 to three decimal point。我哋就會首先揀咗負一點一三一五細過一三二零點零零零五。OK， 我哋計到一個負數。二大過零點零零零五就係 f 負一點一三二五，計到一個正數，所以呢個一個正數一個負數中間就會有個 root， 所以我哋就知道就 alpha 等於負一點一三二 is the root within 呢個 range to three decimal place。第六條 f x 等於四 cotangent x 減八 x 加三 ，x 係由零去到派 ，x 係一 in gradient value 嘅。So that there is a root of alpha of f x equal to zero between the interval 零點八同埋零點九。我係將零點八代入去呢一個 formula 裏邊計翻 f 零點八就係一個正數，而 f 零點九係一個負數，即係話零點八同零點九之間啦就會有一個 root 嘅。So therefore, there is a root alpha of f x equal to zero in the interval point eight and point nine. And part B show that the equation f x equal to zero can be written in the form. 可以寫成呢個 form x 等於 cos x 除俾兩個 sin x 加俾三除俾八。如果四個 cotangent x 減八 x 加三係等於零，負八 x 就等於負四個 cotangent x 減三，所以八 x 就係等於四個 cotangent x 加三，而八 x 等於四個 cos x 除俾 sin x 加三。而 x 就係等於 cos x 除比二 sin x 加三除比八嘅，因為兩邊都除比八。Part C use the iterative formula x n 加一嘅 terms 等於 cos x n over 二 sin x n 加比三除比八。我哋揀嘅 x 零係零點八五，去 calculate x 一、x 二同埋 x 三呢三個 iterative 啊 round to four decimal space 嘅。咁我哋就將佢代入去啦。零點八五就代入去呢一個 iterative formula， 計到 x 一就係零點八一四二，跟住 x 二就係零點八四七零 ，x 零點八四七零代入去嘅話 ，x 三就係零點八一六九嘅。第六條嘅 D， by consider the change of the size f x in the suitable intervals， verify。alpha 等於零點八三一 ，correct to three decimal space。咁我哋會揀 alpha 零係零點八三零五，啱啱細過零點零零零五，我哋就會計到一個正數。而大過零點零零零五，即係 f 零點八三一五，我哋代入呢一個啊 formula 計到咧就係負數嚟嘅，一個負數一個正數，即係中間係有一個 root， 所以 alpha 係等於零點八三一零。就會係一個 root in between 呢個 interval 零點八三零五同埋零點八三一五嘅。Now we are trying to use the Excel to calculation the iteration step of the question number three. So question number three, we have f x equal to x square minus six x plus two, and one of the iterative formula is x n plus one terms equal to x n square plus two over six. And x n plus one equal to square root six x n minus two, and x n plus one equal to six minus two over x n. In three case, we substitute x zero is equal to four. So x zero here we equal to four, and the iterative solution we enter the formula x zero to the square plus two over six. This formula here. So we got the number equal to three. So x one is equal to three. So in here we got the formula is equal to d fifteen. This cell. So three. We copy the three into here, and then we copy the formula down. So the formula down here is using the three to calculate x two. So this value is x two, and then we copy this two equation down into x. Twenty-two. 
it got x2, x3, x4 until x22. The 22nd terms of x we get is 0.3542486689. So these two values is convergence to a values. And the similar for this iterative function, we got x0 equal to 4 and x1 is equal to 6 type x0 minus 2 to the powers of 0.5, so it's square root. So we get the answer is 6 point something. We copy this into this j15, copy these values into these cells here. So x1 is equal to these cells. So the formula, we copy this down the formula. We get this formula here, and we get the values of x2 here. And now we copy these two cells down to the x22. We can see that up to here, we got the value is the same. Make it to three decimal space, it would be the same. So if you think this is not what you want, you want more precise forms, so you can also copy down to more fields. So you get this is a more precise form. Similar to the first iterative function, the first iterative function is xm plus 1 equal to 6 minus 2 over x. So it's, this one is x0. This one is calculated by the iterative formula, 6 minus 2 over x0. We got is 5.5. We copy this 5.5 down here, and we copy this formula down here. We got the second term, x2 is equal to this one. So we copy this function and formula down to the x22 terms. We guess from the x9 and x10, x11 is always the same to the 7 decimal space or x decimal space. So we get it more quickly, more easy by the Excel formula function rather than you do it by hand. So good luck. So if you come up with some iterative, it's take you a long time and you can use Excel to do it for you. It saves your time. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and give like to me. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shelf and see the new video. Thank you. Finally, muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. And the WhatsApp of my telephone number is plus one eight five two. 6592-8609 啊，咁啊，好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。